Why the fuck not? All right. <clears throat> All right. What's up, guys? Uh, today I'm gonna be bringing you something kind of interesting, I guess. Um, I came up with this idea for this build last night before I went to bed for work, and I was thinking every other deck's using it, so why can't we try to incorporate this with something that is out of like complete left field? So we're gonna try this out, and I. We'll like to call this build the Synchro Prank Kids. So anyways, without my like rambling on about this, we're just going to go ahead and cut the chase here. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the craziness that this deck has a potential of doing for the 2020 format. Uh, hope Hoping that Jet Synchron does not get banned because this is the whole thing in this. So... Anyways, as you see here, I'm going to be doing this on Dueling Book as just a solo. But as you see here, we opened up with a syn Jet Synchron, a Prank Kid Fancies, Roxy's Tuning, and Polymerization. So this right here is honestly your best hand. And since you already have Jet Synchron, it's fine because then you could just discard the tuning in your hand to send away the Jet Synchron to, for, the, for the summon of Jet Synchron back from the graveyard. But before you do anything else, what we're going to have to end up doing here is we're going to go ahead, activate polymerization, and we're going to send this to grave, and um, this to grave, and we're going to go ahead and summon our prank kid rocket ride. We're going to put that in defense position. It doesn't really matter the position. So now the change is going to happen here. So we're going to go... Chain one, two, and three. So what happens now is we can banish our uh, tuning, draw a card as another tuning. Wow. And then that lets us special summon another random prank kid monster from our deck that is not the rock. So we're going to go ahead and special summon in defense position. We're going to go ahead and bring out our prank kid dropsies. And then fancies is going to... Fancy's effect is now going to trigger. We're going to view. We're going to go ahead and send away to the grave our prank kid uh, plan. Because this card's really good in grave. Doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go ahead and special summon another prank kid monster. And it doesn't really matter. But for this one, we're going to go ahead, for this combo, we're just going to go all out and special summon our fire boy. <laughs> And then he loses half of his attack. So what you can do here now is you have multiple options. You can either A, recur your stuff back off a of Prank Kid Rocket Ride by tributing it to go into another summon or to get back your other Prank Kids. Or what we can do is just go send to Grave. Send those two to Grave. View. We can go into Dodo Doodle Doo. Special summon. So we go Chain 1. Two, three. This will give us a thousand life points, so we're already at the nine. And then we can go ahead and special summon prank kid monsters that are not the same as the ones that were sent. So we'll special summon another green one to the field. And then we'll special summon another rock to the field. Honestly, all of this doesn't matter. We're just using this right now to get all the prank kid plays out of the way. And the Dodo Doodle Doo's effect goes off. Where we're going to go ahead and add to our hand a prank kid place. We get to just go ahead and add to hand. Um, from here, what you can do is now um, sending these two to grave. We can link summon. Let's see, view. We can link summon out Bow Wow Bark. Now it's kind of bad too because we didn't end up opening up with our Prank Kids Pandemonium. And what we should have done was added our Prank Kids Pandemonium to our hand actually. So um, yeah, for this one we're going to actually take that one instead. So we're going to put that to the bottom of the deck instead of... And we'll just add the Pandemonium to our hands. Because at this point we really don't need another Prank Kid monster in hand. I'll watch as I say that now and... Later on down the line when we're doing this recording, it's gonna we're gonna need that. Um, anyways, 
So we're just gonna keep the we're gonna keep that in our hand. Um, from here, we're gonna go ahead and then prank his dodo doodle doo to grave, and we're gonna add back to our hands our water and our fire. And then from here, what we can go ahead and do is let's see, because we got this and we got this, so we need to send this away. So we're going to put this to grave to special summon out two prank kids. So we're going to special the grass, well, the wind, or the thunder. Yeah, thunder one. And then we'll bring back out the rock. Is it two different? Yeah, two different. We'll special summon the rock in defense. Um, then we're going to go ahead and put them back to the grave. Hmm. So this is the hard part. Because, yeah. So we're gonna, we can go back into another dodo. Put dodo there. So now this gains a thousand. This is the weirdest part for the combo because I've never actually done this much with it. Um, so now we can normal summon. We don't need the link, Karibo, because we could just use these two... Yeah, we can just use these two. View. We can go into Halka Fibrax with these two. View. Special summon an attack. So yeah, we can go Halka Fibrax, use its effect. Uh, then we can special summon out the desk bot 001 from our deck. And then from here, we can send these to the grave to go into our Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon. Or, um, Aurora Sorry for that. Um, special Summon Attack. We'll put it right there. And now we can use its effect to Special Summon out three tokens. And then activating Despot 001's ability. From our graveyard, and we can special summon it in defense because two or more machine monsters were summoned to the field. So there's Despot 001. Now we can activate the effect of Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon to send this to grave, and we can remove this to special summon out our Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion from the deck. Now, this is pretty much like everything else now after the Prank Kid combo is pretty much standard. Like what you would see with the Synchron, Eldritch, and the Ad Emancipator combos that they normally do. So now, from here, we can view. We can send away our um, Mega Phantom Beast to Grave along with the other two tokens. Remove those, and then we can go into a Borload Savage Dragon. We'll special summon that into attack position. We'll put you right there. Activating the we'll chain chain link one chain link two for Mega Phantom Beast O Lion so O Lion's effect goes off. We'll put a cat we'll put a token there and then we'll activate Savage and we'll take the the Mega Phantom Beast and we'll put it down here to the spell and trap zone as a equip card for our Borlord Savage who now gets three counters on him, which is absolutely insane. Because that's like three counters right there. And that's 4,050 attack, which is like super threatening for any other deck. So from here, what we can do is we can remove this and send this to Grave. And we can go into our Herald of Arc Light. 
and we'll put you in defense. And from here we can go ahead and we could set our we could set our prank is pandemonium. So we didn't lock ourselves into it. So now what we're looking at is we're looking at a three negate for anything, another secondary negate. And then on our opponent's turn, we could just send Mystic Grave and add back two Prank Kid monsters from our graveyard to our hand, flip over our Prank Kid's Pandemonium to Fusion Summon in the Battle Butler. And not only now, we have it then on that. So we'll actually go ahead and do this. We'll just say this is going to be on our... We'll go ahead, end phase... We'll go uh, main phase. We'll, oh, wait. I can't really... Okay, yeah, there we go. So standby, end phase, end turn. Then we'll just... You know, if it lets it happen. I don't know what's going on. But, yeah. Um, apparently we're lagging here. But, uh, regardless, on our opponent's turn, we can send that to the grave. Activate its ability. And we're going to add back to our hand the, the thunder. And then we're going to add back, um, we'll add back the earth to our hand. And then from here, like I said before, we can go ahead and activate the pandemonium. And we could send this to grave, this to grave, and this to grave. And we can go ahead and view. And we can special summon in attack mode our Battle Butler, which then procs off the effect of all the prank kids in the. Uh, all, then we can proc off the prank kid effects in the graveyard, actually, from here, which would. We'd only have two spots for them, so, like, we'd only proc off the important ones being the Lampsies and the Dropsies. Honestly, because then we could gain life points. We'd go from 9,000 to 10,000 while burning our opponent for another additional 500s already, putting them down to um, 7k to our 10k. Um, yeah, so like, honestly, this build's not terrible, but like, you have to open up with a very, very specific hand in order to get stuff like this. But that's just like the one combo that I was practicing last night that I remembered that I could do with this deck, but like you have insane, you have your three negates for anything. You have your prank kids battle Butler with a way to just Rygeki itself to clear your opponent's board. And then you have your spell and trap negation with Herald the arc light. Just so you have three different ways here to just interrupt your opponent with doing things. Just with these three cards alone, plus the additional two. Now, if you were to now say if we were to set the trap card as well, instead of sending it to the grave, instead of sending it to dra grave and adding it to your hand or dra hard drawing into it, and you can set it. So we'll just say that we didn't put this card in the graveyard. We'll just say that we have it. We'll put we'll put it back to our hand and say that we set it first turn. So on top of being able to activate the prank is pandemonium and after we activate that to summon out our battle butler and we chain off the effects of our uh two prank kids we'll just you know we're gonna go ahead and just we'll summon out for the heck of it um we'll special summon this to defense and then we'll use We'll special summon this in defense because we didn't use the effect of the one on the grave already. So we can still get our, we can still benefit off of this. So now after that act happens, we can go ahead, activate our prank kids plan, sending this to the graveyard as well as this to the graveyard. And we could go into absolutely nothing because of all our link monsters are in the grave, but that's fine. So say we didn't go into a second dodo. Say we didn't have to go into a second dodo, and we already had another dodo still. We can go, we can put this into attack position on our opponent's turn. We'll just move that, actually, because this is, we did this all wrong, but I'm sorry for that. But um, this is just, you know, this is just a what-if situation if we didn't do that first turn. So that stays there, and then dodo's after, dodo would go off. You, well, 
you'd have the first you'd have to actually chain the effects of your prank kids and we'll just say we banish this and then we draw just like that we're good but yeah so sorry for the confusing video next time I'll try to make it a little bit cleaner on recording but um yeah this is the, this is what I could put this is what this is the possibility of what you can do with the synchro engine inside of prank kids if you open up with a with the proper hand you are as good as gold which is really really nice so with that being said i um you know i'm gonna uh, just yeah sorry today's been a little it's it's been wonky sorry for the rambling um but anyways uh for more content like this I would appreciate it if you guys gave a sub, hit that notification bell for more for more Yu-Gi-Oh content like this. Um, yeah, have a good day.